More back and forth attacks between Yemeni rebels and the U.S. military. Griff Jenkins has the latest from the Pentagon. The American military is on high alert throughout the Mideast following the first direct attack on a U.S. flagged commercial ship by Iranian backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. It happened Monday. The Houthis fired an anti ship missile at the Gibraltar Eagle in the Red Sea. It was a direct hit, but the ship isn't reporting any major damage or injuries. The rebels say international shipping is now fair game for attacks because of the U.S. support for Israel. The response to the American and British offenses is certainly coming, and any new aggression won't pass without a response and punishment. The Pentagon says it has options prepared if the White House decides to strike back. But some of America's top Mideast allies are pushing a diplomatic solution, claiming more airstrikes will only intensify the conflict. We have seen that the retaliation that took place like three days ago, uh, the response on, on the Houthis attack. It resulted with another attack yesterday, yeah. and it's just going to grow. And it's already costing us a lot of money. Shipping rates from Asia have jumped about 60 percent since the attack started, and that number could jump even higher if American ships get damaged or destroyed. At some point, we're not going to be completely successful in perimeter defense. So that, in fact, would put us in a war we don't want. All of this comes as Defense Secretary Austin leaves the hospital after that two-week stay, planning to work from home, releasing a statement saying he looks forward to recuperating there while performing his duties. He thanked the medical staff that treated him, and ultimately, he looks forward to returning to this building. At the Pentagon, Griff Jenkins, Fox 32, Chicago.